How is everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Monday, time for some chill Neo. And we're doing Dream of the Demon. Hang on. Sending out the, the live tweet. There we go. That's gone. So something went wrong. Give it another shot. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So, um, I've done... Uh, I've actually, like, done a mission already, but it was a Twilight one. Wanted to bang out a Twilight, get some Umbracite. We got Fabled Umbracite from Twilight missions now, which is very nice to see. Um, we are obviously working with our Super Banky build. Um, I may actually change this up and go for a Grace at some point, but I don't know 100%. Um... I was thinking maybe an elemental grace build built around Inari's, but I mean, as long as my Banky build is clapping cheeks, I don't know if there's really a reason to do that. I've been running heavy Omeo magic with split staff for quick purity and switch clay for damage. So far, it's working out. Yeah, I don't honestly don't think I'm ever gonna use switch wave again. Um, I mean, switch wave is cool, but. It's like that meme, like, relationship with Switchglaive ended, Split Staff is new best friend. Like, I just don't, I don't see a reason, I don't see a reason to ever go back to Switchglaive, the inferior magic weapon, when I got the Split Staff, which just annihilates. Uh, so let's just, uh, where's the, where's the first one at? Oh no, I did that one, for the, the build video. Let's jump in. Um, we're going through every mission, every single mission, because if you get done all of them, you unlock a special Scampus hat, a little Scampus that you wear on your head. And if that isn't the dopest thing I've ever heard of in Neo, I don't know what it is. Wait till staff nerf. Not gonna happen. If anything, it's getting buffed. I'm not even kidding. The only thing that would happen to staff is a buff. I think I should go for some more health at this point. Yamnebo, Yamnaba, and Nupepo give an identical damage boost. Nupepo's costs more key, but lasts double the duration. Yamnaba's buff is 10 seconds, Nupepo's is 20. I would bump up strength if you plan on getting heavy armor to plus 20. Yeah, see, the thing is, though, I got this, so the strength might not be needed. That lightweight chest just pulls it all together. That guy must suck. Stud's still smoking a vape and he still missed. Yum, zippity doo. I'm fast for you. Yeah. 
New Peppa Power! Bro, I'm busy buffing up. Rude as hell. Yes, the community page is your buddy. Not only does it have all the currently active playlists, it shows what streams are coming up every single week. Uh, my colors don't match, but it doesn't really matter with this setup. I don't really have anything that's, uh, that's boosting specifics. How do you know what decides the damage output for Sacred Bird Cry? Oh, uh, that's actually a really good question. I haven't tested it yet, but I would guess it has... I mean, it probably scales off of just overall damage. Which, how do we even do that? I haven't actually done the ability. Where is it at? It's in Samurai... I would need to replace a skill with it. I guess I will... Sacred Bird Cry. I'll try it out and we'll see if it annihilates things. Damage kind of ass, not gonna lie. I don't think I'm ever gonna use it again. I mean, it, it's cool. I'd also much rather have Shockstopper. Feels much better with star damage and heritables. Well, I mean, I fucking hope so. I also need to re-roll those and get a grace, but they already have good stats, and I'm kind of lazy. Key sealed. No. Time to dance, bitch. I mean, I know this is only the first mission, but I'm beating down Way of the Demon like it's freaking, uh, like it's normal mode. This build is strong. Why are you so good at coming up with builds? Because I'm a giant nerd that likes to min-max and play with numbers. So the trick to the crushing title is he has a buff and you can't hit him while he has that buff active. You need to wait for the buff to go down. on you. Oh, you're dead. Oh, 
Didn't I say you was dead? Is Ho a good alternative to Tengen for high attack damage? Uh, you shouldn't use Tengen for damage at all anymore. There's way better options now. What piece would you rock for Inari's Grace? I haven't looked into it at all. I haven't done... I, I just happen to have a staff that would be perfect for the build. Um, it's what I played the DLC with. And so if I did do a build, Inari seems like the natural choice i guess like if i go to i'll show you my my nari staff um final blow where is my nari staff i didn't get rid of it sumidori oh yeah here it is purity grapple melee key active skill break life drain attack bonus courage this thing just destroys so if I decide that I'm gonna do it, this thing is ready to 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 beat some butts. Let's beat some butts. I mean, this is a lot harder if you don't have god builds. You gotta remember, like, this is... I am running a super, super strong build. Like, most players do not have builds this strong. And what's ridiculous is... This is only going to get stronger. Where's the mask from the thumbnail? Uh, you just craft it. That's literally it, you just craft it. No, I fell. Oh my god. complaining about being too hard and boss is taking 10 to 15 minutes I mean I'm early so it's really hard for for me to to say that's gonna be the case um but I I can understand people getting upset uh do you think split staff can replace switch glaive in your omeo mage build since the staff wasn't a set item uh you'd have to check and see what the offhand in the build was if if, if the build had an offhand then yes if it didn't then no and Neo 2, way OTD is way easier than Neo 1's. I mean, so far it certainly feels that way. I actually didn't originally do Dream of the Demon. I... Back with the original Neo, I played uh, a little bit. And then what I ended up doing is 
when they re-released it for PC, I went through everything. So I came back for PC and I played on uh, the, all the highest difficulties, essentially. So I did PC and that's when I was like, okay, way of the strong, way of the demon, way of the wise, way of the neo. And I just burned through everything. You mentioned uh, Onyeba and Nupepa. Yumnaba and Nupepo. This is Nupepo. He's like a big, fleshy, garbage penis. Yamnaba is the crazy thing with the knife. Still need to get some graces. not the host. Where's the host? You're not the host either. Where is the host? It's you! You're the host! I think a big part of it is people need to realize that on the higher difficulties, you really, really need to, um, you need to have buffs. You need to have big buffs. Like I have a lot of different things that are stacked together that make me incredibly strong. Without them, it wouldn't be as easy as it is, but it's the synergy of all of these different things. Like, for example, one thing that I'm doing is I use confusion in almost every encounter. So what I'm doing is I'm starting the fight off either putting lightning or fire or water on a target. And then after I do that, I'm getting corruption up and that's causing confusion. And when I get confusion off, the enemy can't get their key back. So look right there, get my lightning up. And now I can just wait for my opportunity, and then I can go in. And now the corruption is almost done. Oh, hang on, I need to... No, oh, wrong time for that. Oh, he doesn't want to move around. It's a lot easier to do when I'm not trying to explain it in real time, but... But the point is, you want to go for for getting your debuffs. So we're we're Snake Lady. So charge in. I'm gonna get that's lightning. Now that lightning's done and she's slowed, I'm gonna get corruption. Now she has chaos. And what's so or, or uh, confusion? What's powerful about confusion? So that did 3,200, right? Now I'm gonna let confusion fall off. Twenty-one forty-three, so that is a massive damage increase. That is almost, you know, almost a fifty percent boost to my damage, and I am uh, trying to apply that in every single fight I get in. So when you consider that, all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, the damage kind of makes sense now. Um, another one is Nupepo. When I use Nupepo, that's giving me another 50% damage. So, when you add Nupepo plus Confusion, essentially I'm doing double the damage that I typically do, and so it allows me to just shred even though we're on Dream of the Demon. This is the Split Staff build, it's on the channel. It's actually like one of the only split staff builds. Like if you Google split staff build, um, there's one split staff build I'm seeing besides mine, and it's the one that Poir just put up. Dragon staff. I'm curious what he did. Let's see. What is Poir working with? Show me your set. Did he go for a grace? Doesn't look like he's using Bankies. Yeah, damn, he went in Ari's Grace. 
Anari's Grace mixed with Spirit of Seme. I'll have to talk to him and see how he likes it, because that's close to what I was thinking about running. Um, though I was going to go more pure Anari's Grace. I oh, know he has, he has pure, he has seven. So he's going seven piece and four piece to bring up Omeo Magic. I don't know if I'd use the Omeo set. I feel like that'd be a little bit light. But the elemental weapon damage is what I'm interested in. None of them are divine. Um, I thought I saw... No, I did not. Um, 70, I need a 180 core. Confusion works with purity, but just remember you can't do purity and uh, uh, corruption. Purity and corruption conflict. Does confusion come from corruption and dots? Confusion comes from inflicting two different elemental status. So. Fire, water, lightning, purity, corruption. Any two of those, and you'll enable confusion. This is how it's the wrong way. This is how you play on Dream and the Demon. You sprint past all the baddies and go really fast. This is how we play on Dream of the Demon. Sprint past all the bad guys and go super fast. Super, super fast, man. Super fast, man. Now I'm going super speed faster than before. Sorry. Sorry. Wrong turn. It's been a while. Alright, now, if I can do it, I saw a a trick here that I have not done myself yet. Oh yeah, no, here we go. Down here. Yeah. Are you coming down more? If you jump down here, I'll beat your ass. Alright, yeah. I didn't know about this drop down, like, forever when I played, which is a super dope drop down. Like, look at that. I just saved so much time, man. We're literally at, this is, this is it. Stop that. We're at the boss. Bada bing, bada boom, just like that. I'd probably pick that up. Don't mind me, I'm coming through. That hurts. He is a thick boy. No, stop this. No, no. Come back here. Come back here. Oh my god, the lightning's gonna fall off. Get back here. Alright, fuck this. Can I get fire up on you? It's go time, you dumb bitch! No Peppo! Ow. Come back here. Stop with the stop with the running. Stop with the running. Stop it. You're using up my protections. Why are you like this? Why are you the way you are? Just die. Ba 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 ba
All right, mission done. I'm using the dragon set, but I can't figure out what spirit to go with. I like using the water spirit, but it feels like I'm not hitting card. Yeah, right. Isn't that a sick ass shortcut? I learned about that when I was doing the, uh, the spirit, spirit, uh, or soul core reforging. And I was like, oh man, that's fucking good. That's a really good shortcut. But I haven't had a reason to use it in forever. He did it by accident during the Let's Play. Did I? Mm. I think it's one of those things where it's like, you don't remember something when you don't mean to do it. On to Anendra. Honestly, I'll probably knock out all the main missions and then we'll go back and knock out side missions. I might even try and uh, make make a, a Nari build. Should I bring somebody along? Anybody want to come along? I mean, I don't. I oh, let me let me be straight here. I do not need help. But if somebody wants to come along because they're struggling, I will gladly bring you along on this journey. Which will allow you to get lots and lots of Amrita. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... I'm going to summon. The secret word is booty. What's that lock? Oh. Don't start a game with that weapon. You can, but it's a lot harder to use. My build will by completion of the fire and water when possible and use Gozuki Yokai. I have 18% Yokai ability damage on saturated and 20 on burning enemies, so it's a huge damage bonus. Y'all want to know something really cool? Um, check this out. Watch this. Um, where is he at? There are two. Um, how do I... Or where is it? Two soul cores in particular that this can work with. Mitsume and Onyudo. So, Mitsume and Onyudo will take on the aspect of whatever guardian spirit you have. And what that means is that if I pop this with Ho active, giant blasts of purity breaths in a similar fashion, purity punch. So if you've ever wanted to, to run purity, that's how you do it. All right, boys, let's go. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. No, there are no microtransactions. This ain't that kind of game. I said it ain't that kind of game. No, it's not. It ain't that kind of game. One-Eyed Dragon works pretty well, actually. It's You can get the consecutive hit bonus up very, very fast.
I mean, you can't join because two people are already in. We're the split staff boys. Poor Nenra. You pick up the stats that will make it like the bonus stat is bugged, it is giving a heart instead of magic. What? That doesn't make sense. Password is booty. Um, I don't know if kunai, how viable kunai are super late game anymore. Honestly, I don't really... I, I played Ninja just to get me to New Game Plus and then abandoned it. we gotta get is the key.
Summoning is easy mode? The game's already easy mode. Or were you not here at the start when we soloed the boss and obliterated its health in about 30 seconds? Yeah, we'll, we'll solo one. Because it's too easy when we summon people, apparently. Got no time for your bullshit. Out of my way. Bum, bum, ba -da -bum, bum. Sorry, is this locked? It is not. Okay, it's on the other mission. It's locked. No, that's right. There's not even a summoner on this. Right? Like, we are the boss. <laughs> what increases your casting speed? Nothing. Just the mastery skill in Nomeo. Um, how am I looking on... See, what else do I want in split staff? I don't want that or that or that. 20 more. The game is easy without players. Like, it doesn't make a difference, man. Trying to make an argument about the game being easier or harder in co op is honestly just a waste of breath. No one cares. Like, the game is what it is. If you think the game is too easy with other players, don't play with other players. It's a Mizuki. Do I really care that much about Mizuki? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Uh, whatever. No, Poison was nerfed. Poison was very, very slightly nerfed. But it was nerfed. Poison now has... It only gets a bonus of 20% as opposed to 25%. That was the nerf. Don't know how you... This way to start off my birthday. Thanks for your content. Thanks for the content during COVID. Helps keep the sanity in check and stay entertained. Looking forward to any of the future content. Appreciate it. All right, I think we've combined. Um, let me check anything that isn't locked. We're going to get rid of all of these. I mean, some of them are 160, but like, unless it's divine, is there really a reason to keep it? I think not. Do I have a Sento Taishi? I'll lock you. Oh, no, I do. I have one that's better. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Set to Taishi. There we go. Is the chat, is the video delayed or something? We killed a Nera like five minutes ago. Oh, uh, that mission's irritating. I'll do this one. To like refresh the stream to catch it up, and now it's just taking ages to load, which means I can't see any comments, but that's okay. We're almost there anyway. That's the whole thing. Now I just gotta kill the boss. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we're getting him in wise. It's not that. Is he trying to buff up and shit? to that. No! Oh, wrong button. Okay. Now do you... God damn it. This is gonna be the most irritating boss for me. Stay still! Get out of that tree! Now you sit here, young man. You come down right now. Right now, you hear? You gotta be a pain in the ass running all over the place.
Oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to, uh... I just need to get him into a fucking corner. And he'll die. I'm gonna make sure I'm buffed up before that asshole pops and... Get back here! Oh my god. He's, he will not stay still. I'm gonna have to beat him the old-fashioned way, I think. Oh my god. Get grabbed by that shit too. That was probably the most irritating boss for this build, just because it jumps all over the place. Bank uses switch or split staff, either either or can use it. Shadow unlocked. Um, we'll do this one next. This one will be interesting. Humans are probably the only thing um, that this build struggles against, but probably won't be that bad. We'll see. Obviously, we're getting up to, to some higher difficulty stuff, so... The difficulty might actually begin to show. The real question is if I can remember shit. Remember where to go here. Oh, this place is slightly confusing. I think you go in. You go past them and up top. This way? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Sorry, gotta go. Yeah, Zach. Banky. Banky is actually built around the Switchglaive. Or Split Staff. It's literally a dual set. Use whatever you want. I think this might be the wrong way. I don't remember. 
Yes. Oh no, that's right. You can go either either or. Okay. I feel like, um, how do I, hang on a second, let me get, yeah, the stream on my end is like, I don't know, I don't know how, how far behind the stream is, because to put on 2k, you have to turn off, uh, ultra low latency, so I think the stream may be delayed, like a bit, but I have no idea how much. kind of crappy from a chat standpoint because I know people are like asking questions and I feel like I'm probably not replying to them for a hot minute here. up just to sit back down. God damn. I didn't think Imagawa was going to get just dunked on like that. Kind of feel a little bad for the guy. <laughs> that was silly. But summons make it too easy. As if we didn't just erase a boss from existence. Mm, how are we looking on equipment slots? I'll go to the blacksmith. What kind of vape is that? There is a whole vape command. Hey, an 11. Beautiful. What do you think of Moonlit Snow as a main skill? Um, I mean, it's nice. It's just really, really slow. Probably too slow. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say something's too slow, but it is a really slow ability. Like super slow. Super duper slow. 
I just put this on, I already get more life than that. But I'd have to, like, do shit with it. Untouched Diogen Sake. Mm. Is there a two-piece grace that I want? Because the thing is, I could replace my chest and pick up a two-piece grace. Dispel, dispel ailments on medicine, 62%. I mean, that's not bad. To be honest, it's kind of cool. Like, I, I take a medicine and it gets rid of, like, poison and other shit. Um... Hotei's grace is too risky. Hachiman's grace is ass. Gold earned? Not terrible. Mm. Don't care about ninjutsu power at all. Equipment drop rate. Power. I'll hang on to those two for now. So Nari's 30 Omeo magic. Look through some of the other. Let me look through some of the graces. Jitsu, Golder, and Untouched Arrows. And Jitsu. Anima bonus on water attack. If I wanted to... Wait, attack bonus A based on anima. That's interesting. Kuzuru's Grace. Attack bonus A, anima. How does that even scale up? Hmm. Um. The split staff, but the moves are too inconsistent. What do you mean they're too inconsistent? They, the you do the move that whatever button you press is the move you do. Ibisu's grace with luck, luck on enemy kill, more luck and item drop rate. That's pretty nice. I keep coming back to the anima bonus on water attack. I have golden boy. No, I can't. It's too heavy. I'll probably do something like the dispel ailments medicine. Yeah, I think it's going to be a question of medicine or the untouched sake. Because the sake... The sake is not bad. I mean, sake gets used a lot, and it is kind of rare. Change both your ranged weapons to graces and pick up three-piece so you can keep the chest. The life bonus is higher in set then warrior well I know that I just gotta temper them up but I don't the thing is the the three piece the three piece bonuses for most of these graces um or I mean not the three piece the four piece is just gonna be damage taken so if I replace the chest if basically if I went range range chest I'd pick up 4% damage taken almost universally. I don't think that changes between Grace. I think Grace is pretty much always 
Uh, you know how it talks to us, Gordon? The tracking on Dragon Dance, even using the other moves, doesn't provide the damage without being super late game. I mean, Dragon Dance is only going to provide damage if you upgrade it all the way. The reason my Dragon Dance does as well as it does is because Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance, Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance damage comes from that, and this. Having both of those on, your Dragon Dance will do really well. But to say it's inconsistent just sounds weird, because I mean the damage the damage is the damage. You know, whether you're you're getting the damage or not, that entirely depends on your build and how you play. Why do I have a not wait, deadly eye? Why do I have deadly eye eleven when I don't have damage boost skill or cannon master or any of that shit? That doesn't make sense. I guess because I decided I was never going to use a cannon. But what if I am using a cannon? And why don't I have damage boost skill? Or flash attack? Damage boost heart. And I got to respect my samurai points. Flash attack, I don't mind not having. I mean, it's very rare that I would use this. I really need that flash attack. I do not. What the fuck? No, Dragon Dance. Um... I want you to have my damage boost magic. Have the content keep it up. Oh, don't worry. Content isn't going anywhere. I promise you that. Uh, this would be good for like mercenary strike. It's only going to be on Shin Crusher and not the follow-up on Shin Crusher. I think. Hmm. Just upgrading some stuff. Of Twin Phoenix are Courage. Any Kusari got yes. The every every build type has been on my channel. Mm. 
use Shin Crusher. Shin Crusher to do more key damage. Do masterful slice on that. And then let's do Seashell Strike. We'll give the key boost. There we go. His ass got timed out quick. Um, probably not. We were we were discussing the numbers the other day. I don't think the new Tonfa build compares to the old Tonfa build. I mean, it might, but it would be really close. Which actually, the same thing can be said for uh, Katana. I was doing the math on Katana. I don't think the new set is actually better than the Katana build I already made. In fact, the new set made the katana build I have even stronger because you can take the accessory from that set and pick up an extra 15 attack damage. So, basically the Tomfa build and the katana build I have are still top tier. Let's bring some friends. Because it is... I don't think I have one on me. There we go. I do. So since you can pick up the two-piece set bonus here, you can just put this on to any katana build for an extra free 15 attack. Which, if you do the build that I already put on the channel, to compare the numbers, My build would be 65 attack, 8% melee damage, and 10% active skill damage versus 15 attack, 6% melee, and attack skill bonus A. Now, obviously, you get 13% on your Kurama Sword Dance and 20% Night Rain if you combo Gallant in, uh, but essentially, the old set has an extra 50 attack, 2% melee damage, and 10% active skill which that is a good bit larger than skill A. Um, if your weapon was only 2,000 damage, skill A might be stronger, but especially on Dream of the Demon, the old Katana build will be very, very potent. Is it true that you can now get skill damage and heritables for set bonus skills? Yes. Uh, same as before, anybody who's joining, you gotta have the secret password. Booty. Nah, I have no intention of ninja. To be honest, ninja's just not fun to play as. Like, I when I play Neo, I play as ninja to get me to New Game Plus, and then I never touch it again. Ninja is just very one-dimensional. It's not that it's bad. It's just that personally, I find it boring. I'm not dealing with that while they're throwing bombs at me. Corrupted and all sorts of other bullshit. I ain't got time for that. Hello. I think the buff stated the yokai shift. Um, I've heard there's good buffs. I haven't tried testing it at all myself. Next level is 400. Yes, this is my favorite move. 
my favorite build and weapon move set. Oh my god! I'm getting caught out of key for a 5,000 damage swing. Jesus! That hurt. 5,000 fucking damage, bro. That's why I have my buffs on. I gotta go beat that guy's ass as revenge now. I mean, that was more just a dumb play. I, did, I should have, like, backed out, got my key back. Yeah, I mean, you, well, that's just the nature of Dragon Dance. You know, you need to put something into a corner. I remember... I also didn't have my... Good boy, scroll up. And then we jump down. Then we go this way. We dodge the hole. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no! No! Out of my way. Then we go this way. Oh my god, the pokes! I gotta put him in a corner like this. It's like a nobody puts baby in a corner situation, except you are putting them in a corner. The new enemy boosts on demon would you change the katana build, omio and ninjutsu choices, or just swap out the accessory? I don't remember the setup for every single build, but you should assume you're going to beef your character up if you're going to be demon. Nope, items are 180 now. 180 plus 20. With a max player level of 400. Oh, you bitch. Does that combo extend out? It does. Yeah. 
he doing? Frankie said is the best set. Looking good and thick at the same time. I hate my job. They don't allow lunch breaks for eight hour shifts. Yeah, that's illegal. Uh, you can report them. I mean, assuming you live in America. It's not. Oh, fuck. My sound keeps cutting out. I wonder if my headset's about to die. Actually, you know what I think? I think I know what it is. Um, back there. I think it's because I moved the, uh, the thinger. Stop fighting back, just let it happen, Saito. There's no PvP. I ordered food when I'm in a remote spot. The punishment if caught is being sent home. Wait, where do you where do you work, Reno? Like literally, if you're working eight hours, they can't deny you a lunch break. Like I'm I'm it's against labor laws. Yeah, you're in Texas. That is against labor laws. Are dual swords good? Yes. Use elements. Do that. Use use elements and uh, just call it a day. I mean, they need to. They still need to let you eat on an eight-hour shift. Let me see. Wow, that's dick. Texas labor and employment law has no general rule requiring breaks for lunch no matter how long you work. Wow.
Yo, Texas sucks dick. I'm never moving to Texas. Bro, that's ass. That is ass. Fuck Texas. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do this one. Yeah, in Tennessee, state law requires employees must be provided a 30-minute unpaid meal or rest period if scheduled six consecutive hours. Except in workplace environments that by their nature of business provides an ample opportunity to rest or take an appropriate break. Yeah, that's ass, my dude. Who wants to come along and kill the bad guys? I have not seen the update for Warframe and I'm probably not going to play it regardless, so... Do with that information what you will. The SO2 looks so outdated though. Now, let me pray, it should warp him over here. It didn't. Do I go help them? I mean, they're big boys, they'll catch up, right? I'm here to unlock Otaku Maru and get whatever dope reward he has hiding. Oh man, that's a lot of baddies. It's go time! Oh god, no. Not this. Not this! Anything but this! No! New pep! Oh! It does, but even then, for what I know, it's a very good MMO. I mean, I know almost nothing about it, but it looks dated as fuck. So I don't know if I'm going to be about that life. Just being honest. Although I did play the new Amazon MMO. And that looks like something I might be getting down on. I don't know. I'm really torn if I will enjoy it or not, to be frank with you. Like, there are some things that I like, and other things that I'm like, eh.
I think the thing is like so your your combat in New World is essentially left click, hold left click for a heavy attack, and right click to block. And beyond that, you have three abilities that you can use at any time and like six to choose from per weapon. But I'm not sure if that would be enough to satisfy me, you know? Better rip! Beyblade time! Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I like that it's skill-based and skill-based PvP. So the skill-based aspect of it might be enough to, to keep me interested, but... I feel like it needs more than like three abilities like even I mean honestly if you've played Elder Scrolls online the combat of Elder Scrolls is probably the closest thing to New World but Elder Scrolls you have like five abilities and um, I mean your attacks are, are very like the attacks in this game feel weighty whereas in Elder Scrolls it just feels like you're just slapping away um, so I, I will give it credit there, but I don't, I don't know, man. Like I, I'm, my plan is I'm going to play the, boom, deadly eye one. I plan on playing the beta, uh, come August, assuming I'm not sitting in the hospital. And, uh, from that point on, I will just make a decision and maybe we'll throw down with it. Maybe not. I won't know till then though. Way out. I guess we'll do a way out first. I'm gonna go pee real fast though, and then we'll continue. Also, reset my sound real fast. I uh, I moved the wireless plug in. Blasphemous DLC ain't fucking happening. Read the community page. Neo 1 kind of sucked, but never bothered to finish it. I mean, Neo 1 didn't suck, it just wasn't as polished as Neo 2, that's all. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if it, if it, was, a, if it was a normal New Game Plus, I'd play it. 
but no, nah, I I am not about restarting. Fuck that. Like imagine that in any other game. Imagine if you went into to Dark Souls New Game Plus, and the game decided, all right, you get to keep your armor and all your weapons that are max leveled, but. We're going to reset your vigor back down to five. We're going to take away all your Astus flasks and all your stamina is gone. Nobody would fucking play it. Except for like the masochist. Most people would be like, uh, fucking no. This sounds terrible. Why would I want to do this? And that's what happens with the Blasphemous DLC. They added new game plus. It just comes with a whole heap of bullshit. I mean, like, which, to be fair, it's free DLC. You know, nobody's required to play it, but I, I don't understand why the hell they would do that just as a design decision, you know? Like, I think, uh, I think a big part of New Game Plus is that you're playing through the game after beating it once, you know, you're powered up. Like, fuck yeah, I'm going through Dark Souls, but I got my, my big ass health bar and my giant weapon and I'm gonna beat the shit out of that boss that was a pain in the ass before. That's part of what makes New Game Plus enjoyable. If you're losing on all of your, your boosts, like, why the fuck would I want to do that? Like, welcome to New Game Plus. The game's harder, and also, you have level one health again. Like, what? No. <laughs> what the fuck? Why would I want to do that? Especially because Blasphemous is the kind of game where you don't level up. You get your health and shit from finding shrines. Which means, if you wanted to go in, and you wanted to, to play, like, you're, oh, hey, Blasphemous got DLC. I think I want to check it out. Yeah, well, not so fast there. Because the thing is, if you go to check it out, you can check it out, but you're also going to have to replay the entire fucking game just to have your health high enough again that you can enjoy the damn thing. Like, why would they do that? I have no idea if they've they've nerfed ninja or buffed ninja or anything. I don't play ninja anymore. Ninja was a first playthrough. Beyond that, I don't think ninja's fun. Because the whole benefit of ninja is playing through fast. Um, where are... There is. God. Just sit down, big bird. It would be better if you didn't even attack me. That poor bird. I'm going to spank the bird. I mean, I think we're going to do, I'm going to do a, uh, a single player grounded series and I'll fuck around with that for a while. And then after that, um, we'll figure out where we go from there. We'll, I don't know. 
maybe fuck around on Celeste because people keep asking for it. Oh, plus is your gear? Um, like five. Gear is not that high. Five, five and six. Weapons at eleven. Uji Kurojo's grace. Oh, I got a 13. Damn, I should have saved it. I could have done the 10 and then the 11 and then that. Still gonna use that though. If you type exclamation point vape, there's a whole chat command. A clan? Uh, Gamo? I'm here for the lucky boy bonus. Oh, sorry, dead end. Ow, excuse me. Damn, rude as hell. I said, I'm just here to kill your, your boss, alright? I want nothing to do with you scrubs. Just get out of my way. You heard of Carry On? Oh, you mean that game that I played on stream last week that has a video on the channel? I'm using a Drag 2 with a Horizon Falcon tank. Oh, get that guy. He snuck around up top. Oh no. We don't play that shit here. No? You're not all gonna come up the ladder? It was fun. I'm probably going to finish carrying on my own. It's a cool game, but I don't think it's the best stream game because it's anytime there's a game that's like more about like kind of solving a puzzle. Um, they can be good on stream, but they're usually games that are better experienced on your own. starting to get annoying. Caught him with the three dollars. Oh, I'm talking YouTube content. I mean, in terms of streams, I have tons of shit I can stream. I can play this, there's more stuff coming to Monster Hunter, I can do Grounded with the boys, For Honor has a new hero coming. Like, there's tons and tons and tons and tons of shit I can stream. But, I need to have something that will eat up time uh, on the channel.
안타까요 DLC is good. Destroy all humans? I mean, it looks like it'd be fun for maybe a stream and just a single stream. I don't think I'd enjoy it enough for like a long series. Death Stranding. I have it actually. Epic gave it to me. They're like, hey, there you go. In case you decide you want it. And I'm like, uh, I don't. And they're like, that's cool. We added it to your account, just in case. And I'm like, oh, bro, you guys are killing my buff before the fight even starts. Some bullshit. Oh, wrong button. Ooh. Present. Damage time! Oh, you little bitch. Stop that shit. Me go. Just accept the corruption. No. Oh man, I'm about to get fucked up. I have heard of the hat. I have not seen it. I mean, like, there's shit I could play. I could, you know, I could return to Long Dark and do that. I could, uh, finally do Darkest Dungeon, which I've had forever and I just suck at. for lightning first this time. I think that was part of the problem. doesn't last worth a shit. Fucking die! Oh, 
I will say now that we're getting to some of the later bosses, I can see why some people are like, these things are fucking health sponges. Because that was, I had to go through, uh, three instances of confusion on his ass. I am grabbing Kingdoms of Amalur, but Kingdoms of Amalur is also scheduled to release, like, the same exact weekend that my kid is due. So I'm kind of like, ah, uh, like if I get the game two weeks early, I'll be going hard as fuck on it and I'll have it prepped up. <clears throat> um, but right now, right now, uh, re-reckoning is due. Oh, fucking not. It keeps pulling up the original. It's due September 8th. September 8th is when the game is supposed to launch. Um, my baby is expected September 7th. So, like two weeks early? That's great. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to try and juggle a giant RPG and a baby at the same time. It's just not going to happen. Perfect time to play Death Stranding and care for your baby. Just do a special baby series where I'm playing Death Stranding while I got the baby, like, on my on my shoulder and shit. Oh god, I need to do a bunch of side missions still. Ooh, life drain on melee kill. Um, I'm a big fan of that. I have one, but I ran out of attempts on it. That's a 291, let's try it. Kasha Kuroko Oni B. It's a boy. We already know it's a boy. I'm not about that shit where people are like, we're going to find out what gender it is when it comes out. Like, what? No. Fuck that shit. You need to stop moving so much. Ow. Okay. Stop it, you dumb bitch. Water! Enjoy a little bit of your own flavor, bitch. Oh, 
Come on, give me confusion! Oh no! There it is! Oh, spin, 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 spin! Divine, 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 divine. A lot of shit. How are you liking split staff? It's amazing. Nah, my baby. Will not be scared by loud noises. He'll be loud as shit like me. Oh, those are ass bonuses, but I can definitely re roll that. 170, Yad, and Anima Elemental Attack. Damn! That is a nice, 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 nice Kasha. Where is my Kasha? I think my Kasha is a minus one though. Let me check. Yeah, this is a minus one attunement. Hmm. I think I can fit that into this build. I'm go to the Guardian Spirit. Um. Yes, I can. Which means I'm going to combine her ass. So an anima bonus on elemental attack and the yokai ability damage all that is a very very nice kasha because the one i had before was attunement cost which is great but i'll take the bonuses a big girl kasha So I'm trying to figure if I do Divine Inheritance, how Divine Inheritance would work exactly. Hmm. We're gonna try some. God, get off my wiener.
Oh shit. Bro, I didn't even hit you. What is wrong with you? I'm gonna beat your ass. So all of this was for that guy. Copy enhancement, lock an item drop rate. So what we're trying to do here is we're going to re-roll the soul core to get an effect called transfer inheritance. And with that, um, I'm not sure exactly how it works. Let me see. You see, somebody posted a thing about it today and I was like, oh shit. So now I'm like, I need to try this out. Um, Trying to find the post about it. It was like back in this morning. God, there's way too many people. Oh, here we go. I remember that.
So it's only divine cores, which we're doing. Didn't get in. Yeah, you'll have something called Rarity Inheritance Soul Fusion. Which that's what I'm trying to get. Can go to the menu and come back? Oh. Tell me, do you know how the, the Rarity Inheritance, what exactly does that do for Soul Cores? Does it let me... Can I, like, use that to upgrade a different soul core to divine? Like, is it similar to how mortal soul cores work? You can inherit the level of the soul core for the level of the gear, like divine. But you can already do that with soul cores. I should do some accessory rolling, try to get something starred. That's a pain in the ass. Now you can re-roll demon scrolls. Third inheritance, you basically make one of your old perfectly rolled cores divine. Okay. That is exactly what I was hoping for. So you want to roll a divine core of the same t Oh, okay. All right, never mind then. I thought it would open it up like a mortal soul core where you can do it with anything. So... So if I make... If this has Rarity Inheritance, it's only going to work for Mujina, correct? So it sounds like that's what you're telling me here. I feel like I should wait till I have a 170 Yash instead of re-rolling the current Yash. Oh shit, I'm not that worried about it then. Let me see. I don't think I have... Let me see what divines I have that I would I would actually be worth doing this with. All guys I don't use. All more that I don't use. Rukurobi. I mean, I do have that one Rukurobi that's like really good. But I never use the damn thing. Attack, attunement, and yad. Especially Scorch or Poisoned isn't what it used to be. Hmm. Hmm. Shit. What did I just overwrite? Weakness. That's because I'm at a shrine. I need to get more of those I'm running out. Probably should have just killed the boss, but whatever. Take advantage of the bug with soul cores to get a bunch of easy 180 weapons. I haven't had a 180 soul core yet. Pretty sure I would need a 180 soul core first before I can get the weapons up. Gamma man. Come into this corner, please. 
No, you left the corner. Come back in here. Come back here. There we go. Good boy. Yeah, this is the cheekiest shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god into the wall you go goodbye Why are we skipping the whole mission? Why would you not? There's no reason to play through the whole mission. All we're trying to do is get enough progress to get Otakamaru and then beat his ass. Bullshit, stay still. Fucking dickhead. Saito wanted that shit so bad. I was like, I'm gonna do it. I don't even bother killing the purple glowy dudes. Star. Yeah, this one's fast too. I'm just trying to knock out the quick missions to get progress. You need to try the other Saito. Which one are you talking about? Oh, 
Uh, sure, I know who you're talking about with other Saito. Saito? Oh. Which one is that? I mean, as long Do the online missions add towards mission progress? This one. Oh yeah, this mission sucks ass, doesn't it? Isn't he like going all over the place and doing some bullshit? I don't want to go to the hut. Take me to the shrine. Whatever, we can beat his ass probably. <clears throat> Get some Omeo Mage Locks out of it. I mean, I am a bigger Omeo master than him. Stop running, you bitch! Wah! <laughs> <I> got his ass! <laughs> Fucking thought you was special? <laughs> Sit down, I'm the true warrior monk! Honestly, this build is just too damn strong. That's the thing. This build is OP. OP for me. This build is OP for you and for me. That's a lot of tea sets. <laughs> I 
want to have a little Kurama Tengu hang out. Let's have the blue dragon hang out with us. He looks cool. Um, so 51, 210, 150. All right, I'll just use that. Keep divines? Why keep divines? I was going to sell all of them. Eight million gold. Will you be doing Neo 2 with the viewers? I have been. You showed up late to the party, man. Um, let's see. What else is fast? I want more fast missions. Which one is the short one? Is it Brother's Blade or Shadow's Duty? One of these is super short. Oh, that's the Hanzo mission. This one's pretty short. I think we'll probably unlock the next couple of regions and then wrap up the stream there for the night. Well, you can just run to the boss, but I'm gonna... <clears throat> Tyro is a little bit of a pain in the ass, so I'm gonna go blow up the crystal first. Dragon, I think you'll be able to do lightning katana build. Yeah, he's a, be a good choice, probably. Do the glowing red guys drop anything useful, or are they just... Fucking around, I see. I don't know why I'm doing that shit, so I know he's gonna get out of it anyway. Die, bitch. I got a little close there for a minute. I hate how some of these guys, like, you get up confusion and it falls off in like half a second. Like, we need like a confusion, confusion duration extended modifier. 
I was getting confusion on only for that shit to drop like four seconds later is ass. there there's a confusion duration clan how long is the duration bonus like long or is it like ass so I feel like that might be needed but I don't want to give up on my gamo I love my luck I knew that was gonna fucking hurt. Now you're in a corner and I'm gonna beat your ass. Hada tada katsu, we all know you won't last. Keep using lightning, it isn't gonna matter. Cause when you're fighting me, your head'll end up on a platter. On. 21% extra duration at Elder Rank. Ugh. So that would be five seconds instead of four seconds, basically. Let's go to the blacksmith. I feel like I should wait for a 12 and then use that 13. Uh, I'll lock you for now. forgot his ass. I think part of the problem too is when they shift into Dark Realm, you're gonna lose uh, confusion regardless. Hey, 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 I didn't manage to get lightning on you yet. Stop fighting back. We thought it was a meme, but I wonder how potent the grapple set if you got the grapple set and you just rolled like a massive focus on grapple damage, key damage, and break. And all of your doing is just 
Boom. Just break key and grapple. Oh, we're so close. Are we? I feel like I'm on the dot for the next zone. Don't underestimate Honda. He's still... Honda just got its ass beat. I didn't underestimate him, but that doesn't change that we beat his ass. Where do I even put my points at this point? I guess just more constitution. I mean, there is a grapple set. It's just kind of a weird set. And uh, super fucking heavy. Um... Oh, this is, this is that, that little bugger. Yeah, he's fast. Um, if I can kill the yokai at the start, this one is fine. If I can't, this mission sucks ass. So we got to pull out sloth and then I'm going to get his ass with lightning and we're going to hope that, that I can get him. Alright, so before I go... This is the dance of my people. No, get him! We got him! We got him! 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 No! No! Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do that! Come back here! Come back here! You shit! No! Get back here! I was this close to getting his ass. Uh. So there for me to follow you on your builds for this game. You please help me on this game. I'm on PS4. My dude, I don't have the time to help people individually. I'm sorry, but I just, I, I don't, not possible. Like, I'm glad you want my help, but I cannot possibly do that. Uh, so we need like one mission here. Play for the blacksmith. This one's pretty short, right? Isn't it just like... This one's basically just like slaughtering a uh, an Ipan Adachi. Why not just finish the mission? Because that mission sucks ass. You have to fight yokai for like 10 minutes. I'm not about that life. I'm looking... I'm looking for the easiest path possible. Path of least resistance, as they say. Yeah, you can you can just rush the boss on this one. This one real quick. That spinner is OP. Honestly, the biggest weakness of a mad spinner build is the risk that you'll get bored of playing it because it's a mad spinner build.
If you're alright with playing it, then yeah, Mad Spinner will, will fuck shit up. Fucking whiffed. Here's the special Benke skill. Wapa! You charge and boing! Throw that bitch out. It's a good, like, final blow ability. As you can hit shit while it's nice and far away. We should make curse reapply confusion. What do you mean, curse? Curse isn't a thing. Though, to be honest, what I think would be cool is if you get confusion up, that every time you add a new element, it, like, multiplies it. Like, let's say you get confusion, it's 10 seconds. You get a third element on, it goes up to 20 seconds. You get a fourth element on, it goes up to 40 seconds. You get... Well, like, you can't get a fifth one on because then you'd have to to get corruption. But like if somehow like after boom, 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 all four of your elements, you get corruption. It's like, boom, parma confused or some dumb shit like that. Anyway, uh, we've unlocked Dawn and Twilight. So I think this seems like a good spot to wrap things up. Um, it's about 945. I want to get some dinner and stuff before I go to bed. So we'll close out here. Um, tomorrow I'm probably going to get my ass beat in Ghosts because I've done nothing but play Neo for the whole, like, since the weekend. And we're going back to Ghosts to wrap it up and get our Platinum. So we have that stream tomorrow. Um, that'll probably be the last time I play Ghost until we get DLC. Um, beyond that... Thursday, we're doing Monster Hunter this week because the Frozen Barioth guy shows up. So we're going to tackle him on Thursday. And then uh, Friday... Well, Friday, I was going to do For Honor because there's a new hero coming. But I think the gang is getting together and playing more grounded. So, will you get Twitch? Fuck no, I love Twitch. I'm partnered on Twitch. Twitch is shit. Anyway, y'all have a great night. I'll catch you guys later.